Hello, today we will be creating something that already is done in the Cricut space but we will do a little change so it doesn't look like oh just cut and put together why not create something different and in base of what you have here uh, they have already colors if you want but I want to go a little more ahead and like create this part like a real basket like well, not real, but at least will look a little more like a basket and play with the flowers too. So let's try to put these together. Now I have all the parts. Oh, this one didn't cut perfect. I think I was needing to do like a second cut in that part, maybe. So I have those, I have these, and I still have in the price of this one. That is interesting. Okay, so we got this, this. This one didn't cut exactly perfect too, but you know what? I will not be worried because I will be decorating this. Okay. It's just like the base of all. So this will be like the bases and then it comes the leaves, and the little flowers, and all the other parts. Okay. First we will build this part. They have already the score in there. Um, how good it works. I think that the scoring part is just okay. If I have to do it, I will do it again. Let me see. So the cricket didn't do like really good job scoring. So I have the scoring part of the cricket here and I will go over that again. like that maybe in that way it will be easier for me to score in the right way I'm not sure if I am the guilty one that maybe I put you know, in the best way the, the scoring tip that would be silly if I didn't but it will not be impossible too <laughs> okay so we got Okay, we got the scoring working better now. I know that I need to turn this in the other way. Why the cricket is doing this cut in the wrong way? Or I'm read it's me. No, I'm good. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Like this. So I was looking to <coughs> the new um, what's the name? The Axis, the Cricut Axis, and now they are promoting to have another free option with the Cricut Axis that is the Mermaid style. And I'm so excited, I will be working mermaids. I love mermaids, so this will be the box in that way. Okay, before I keep going, so these are the parts that go in the decoration. I love this. It's like a basket style. So let's put together this. So this has to be the smaller one, the large one. Yeah, we got this. We got this exactly. Let me get the ETG gun. 
you can use glue, but I love to use my OTG gun. There it goes one. So, what I was saying is like in Cricut Access, if you have the an account, now you can play with mermaids. I was looking the image that they have, and some of the projects are really cute. I love it so much that I'm planning to do my next agenda decoration inspired in this beautiful mermaids. They will look so cute. And the colors. Yeah, why not? The colors of that can be like uh, pink and um, it goes good also with a little light blue, green. It's so cute. Purple. Lavender more than purple. Yeah. And the projects that they have are very interesting. I don't know, I like to do my own projects, but in the same time I like to try what they have there. Like to see what um what they have, what is nice. So oh, so this is the other thing that I was seeing. It could be like that, or I just can keep going with the basket. I think I will keep going with this basket style. I love the idea. Just to have a basket. Then we can change something. So this goes here. It's so easy when you have everything. Usually I do my um my boxes, my own boxes, and um I did before in different ways and I think you can see the old videos how I do a little different than these for more for people that has that didn't have like a cricket machine but I love this and it's noisy I'm making a lot of noise with this I have so many things I have also my uh, tea <laughs> close to me while I'm crafting I love tea. Do you like tea? What kind of tea do you like? I like green tea. I like all kinds. Okay, so we got almost all this part together. There it goes. I don't know if you feel good with me talking and talking and talking. Sometimes I'll talk too much when I'm talking. So this will go in this way, see? Okay, this part hmm, has also the scoring here. So let me do it. And I'm new with the cricket, and for some reason I'm noticing that the scoring part. It's not good. I never use the scoring in that. I think I never use also <laughs> the old cricket, but I don't know why. The cricket expressions was so different than this one, and I was not able to do a lot of things. But at the same time, I have so many good um, crafting projects with the. Explore. So I think this go in this way. Yeah, I think it's in that way. And then it comes there. This has another one. Okay, so it's kind of weird. I'm not sure if this goes in this way. Like with extra flowers there. I'm guessing yes. So if that goes in that way, it means that this maybe goes inside. Let me see. I think this would go inside. Don't you think so? Okay. So actually, this goes in this way. And this is like the middle one. The basket go like that. Oh, it makes sense. <laughs> okay, you need to put 
we will use glue for this one. If we have there, now we have to put the flowers there. And I have the white flowers. flowers here but I think I would use more than that let me get some extra flowers that I have okay so I have these kind of flowers I don't know if I would go for the pink and because this is going more white and yellow so I still have leftovers of these that maybe I can decorate they have this little um, Right. Let's see. What can we do? I think green looks good. It looks cute. Okay, I found this ring stone. Maybe these ones will be good for the yellow one. Oh, it looks so cute. I think I would put the other ones too. Let's try. Oopsie. Yeah, that looks good. I will put some of these here, so I will work in this space. Let's cut some of these. my message here or write something that would be a little longer for a message there so the box is ready and now I have my envelope this envelope was also part of the set and I think yeah the same problem this, the score of mine is there but no a good one at least I can know where it is. That is so good. Maybe that is what it has to happen. Okay. Let me just scroll. I've got stuff that has I think I can get some kind of um, uh, flowers for this envelope, like a sticker flowers, but for now that will be great. So this is the envelope and when this is closed, let's see, it has to fit there. Perfect. <laughs> Let's 
stick. I'll go up there until it dries good. And we go to do the basket with the handle. It's so adorable, I love it. It's really simple. Uh, it looks like a little basket here in the front. Can you see? That was bad. I think it needs to have like a second one of these. For now it's okay. I think we did a good job. Hmm? Maybe this was <laughs> in the backside, I'm not sure. But I love in this way and I'm happy with the how it finished. So good thing that you can close in any of the side is good. I put so many things that it is not flat. But if you don't did put um, dimensional things, it will be really flat. There it is! It's adorable! So, our project is ready and I'm happy. I like this kind of project. I love the um, dimensional boxes, the card box, whatever you call these. And uh, I will be doing more. Uh, maybe the next one will not be like this. Maybe the next one I have to try to modify a little more, but at least I know how it works from the Cricut cartridge, cartridge and it's fun. So I hope you enjoy this and I will be seeing you pretty soon. Bye bye!